The best way to feel sharp in the morning is to eat the right foods. So in this particular case, who doesn't really want to feel sharp just by adding in something that's tasty? Cutting right to the chase, it's eggs. You probably want to turn off the video now, but I like to go into the science and help you understand why. Because we can talk about how eggs are positively impacting our long-term brain in terms of staving off neurodegenerative conditions, things like that, but also how they impact you acutely. And if you look at your life retroactively, you start realizing, wow, the days that I felt the best mentally, I actually had some eggs for breakfast. But there's some very, very big holes that we have to poke in this first. Before we get into this video, I put a link down below for Thrive Market. They're an online membership-based grocery store, and that link gets you 30% off literally your entire first grocery order. So I would recommend load up then because you can save 30% off whether you're spending $2,000 or $50. And obviously 30% of 2,000 is a lot more. Point is, load up. Get your groceries now and utilize that link. Plus you get a free $50 gift when you use that special link. And the best part is, long term, you save a lot of dough because you're not spending money going to the grocery store when gas prices are ridiculous. You're not having to see your weird neighbor at the grocery store. You don't have to put pants on and you don't have to cart your kids around the grocery store, which can be pretty daunting. So anyway, that link is down below in the description. So the big holes that we have to poke in this first, what are people usually combining with their eggs? I don't know a lot of people that just have a nice hearty egg breakfast, right? I, now we'll get into the nuance of why eggs are so powerful, but you could arguably counter the impact of eggs if you had a bunch of sugar, which has been demonstrated to have a negative impact on neural inflammation, right? So inflammation within the brain doesn't exactly make you think very clear. So if you're having eggs and you're also having pancakes and syrup, I think you're probably going to nullify the benefit of the eggs. But what makes the eggs so special? Is it because they're rich in fats and fats are fuel? No. Okay, most likely when you look at the research, it has to do with the choline. Now, could you just go out and take a choline supplement? Maybe, but eggs are the most nutritionally rich source of choline that you can find in the world. And choline is very interesting. There's a study published in Nutritional Sciences that found that choline, like you're going to find in eggs, can stave off and slow down cognitive decline. So over the long term, this is great. But I always say it's difficult to sell insurance, right? Like it's not easy for me to say, eat this because it's going to help you 10 years down the road. Once you reach your 40s and 50s, you might start thinking like that. But if you're in your 30s, you're probably not paying attention to what happens to you in 10 or 15 years. It just doesn't matter to you yet. But what about the short term? A literal good brain food. We're always focused on the next quick thing, the nootropic, the caffeine, which arguably do work. But there was an interesting study published in Current Developments that took a look at subjects that consumed egg yolks, egg whites, whole eggs, yogurt, or fasting. Now, I'm not saying fasting in the literal intermittent fasting sense, just no breakfast. Here's what they found. Those that had the yolks only had the highest improvements in processing scores. Processing means your attention span. That is huge in today's world. Okay, I would argue our attention span is decreasing. I'll take every little bit that I can get. So that's huge. The egg yolks above all else had the biggest improvement. But then when you looked at the egg yolks and whole eggs, those two groups showed the highest score improvements in memory and retention. Okay, so in two of the biggest categories, arguably the most important categories really, eggs take the cake, whether it's a whole egg or egg yolk. So this is huge because this is acute. This is like what I had for breakfast today positively impacted me. So then you play takeaway a little bit and you say, okay, if I eat these things that have a positive impact and I take away the garbage that would negatively or impede that, it's a pretty cool argument, right? Eggs really are a great brain food. Now, if you're still on this video, and I highly recommend you stay for this next part, we're going to talk about how this is happening. So there are studies that demonstrate that choline improves processing speed. Processing speed, just like the CPU in your computer or when you upgrade your iPhone, a better processor is faster. Okay, if you improve your processing speed, it's like you took your iPhone 3 and just turned it into an iPhone 14, right? Better processor. And this is because choline is the precursor to what is called acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter, which is vital for neurotransmission. In fact, there are studies that show that choline and eggs can improve cognition after having a stroke. So subjects that had a stroke, if their choline level increases, it can actually improve the brain function again, especially within the first 12 months. Then eggs have something called lutein in them. And we think lutein, oh, this might be one of these like long-term things that's gonna help us out with our brain. 
No, there's pretty solid data that Ludian helps us with memory, and it's not only long-term, it's short-term. Say, there's a reason I have eggs and blueberries on days that I film. Blueberries, the anthocyanins are great for my brain, small amount of sugar, low carb fruit, and I have the choline, I have the eggs. I really do feel like that is a perfect brain combination. So if you're looking for a brain combination, blueberries and eggs. Then we don't realize how much of a role stress plays in our ability to function at the brain level. Tryptophan is very important for this, and tryptophan ratios in eggs are terrific. What that means is that tryptophan can actually get into the brain and it can increase serotonin levels. But what happens, if you want to know just kind of the basics of it, tryptophan can reduce the negative impact of cortisol. So basically it inhibits this cortisol stress response. So when we get stressed out and the cortisol kind of affects us in a negative way and can impact our brain, having higher levels of tryptophan can actually stand in the way of the cortisol negatively impacting our brain. So they always say a calm brain is a fast brain. That's why meditation is so good, right? It helps you kind of calm, come into the present and be quicker. You don't want to amp yourself up with caffeine all the time, make yourself anxious. To a certain degree, you start impeding your ability to make good decisions. So it's a balance there. So at the end of the day, eggs are the best brain food that you could possibly find. I'll see you tomorrow.